Hey guys, today let's take a look at the Sonoff 4 channel Pro Smart Switch that comes with a bunch of features such as RF remote connectivity and multiple modes of operations such as interlocking, self-locking and inching mode. It also includes a smartphone connectivity, Google Home and Alexa controls. In this video, I'll be doing a review and we will also see how to do the setup, configuration and also a quick demo of this product. I would also like to thank Banggood for sending me this unit for review. In case if you are planning to buy this product, then I have put the links in the description of this video. So let's start with the unboxing of this smart switch. So on the box, there are some features that are listed out here, which includes the remote control, timing schedule, self-locking, interlocking and inching mode. And there is an app called EV Link, which can be downloaded on Play Store as well as on App Store. So it works with Alexa and Google Home Assistant. And some more features are listed out on the back of this box. In the box, we get this uh, smart switch and a couple of documentation. So we have the user manual, which has instructions in Chinese and also in English. So it has instruction on how to do the various uh, wirings and also the different configurations that are present on this uh, smart switch. And we have some info on the app that can be downloaded from the Play Store. It's called EV link and also we have some quality certification and warranty card. So now let's take a look at this smart switch and its configuration. So this switch has four channels and hence four different devices can be connected to it and they can be controlled independently. It has four physical buttons to turn on or turn off the device. And there are four LED indicators here that light up in red to show the on state of the switch. If it is off, then the LED will not light up. And if it is on, it will light up in red. At the bottom here, there is a Wi-Fi indicator to indicate connectivity status to the router. Let's take a quick glance at the specification of this smart switch. It works on AC 90 volts to 264 volts with 50 or 60 Hertz frequency. Supports a max load of AC 250 volts or if using DC then 30 volts DC and a max current draw of 10 amps. It works on 2.4 GHz uh, frequency band on the 802.11BG and N Wi-Fi standards. It also supports RF remote on 433 MHz frequency. It has three working modes, interlocking, self-locking and inching modes. So down here we see a couple of input and output terminals. So this smart switch works on both DC and AC power. We see a DC jack here and this is called input 1. And this accepts a voltage between 5 volts and 24 volts DC. Next to it is the input 2 terminal that takes AC power. Here we can connect the mains voltage that is between 90 volts and 264 volts AC. We should use either DC input or the AC input one at a time, but not both together. Next to the input two, we see four grouped uh, terminals from each of the four relays that are present on this smart switch. Every group has uh, three terminals and these are named as NO, COM and NC. The devices to be controlled will need to be connected to these terminals. There are three modes of operations that are available on this uh, switch. These modes are called interlocking mode, self-locking mode and inching mode. In self-locking mode, one or more of the connected devices can remain in on state and can be controlled independently. In interlocking mode, only one switch will remain on at any point of time and the rest of the three switches will remain off. Upon turning on a different switch, the current switch that is on will be turned off automatically. And lastly, in the inching mode, the switch that is turned on will turn off automatically after an interval of time. One or more switches can be operated simultaneously 
and the duration of the on time or the delay time can be configured anywhere from 1 second to 16 seconds. So now let's move to the demo part of this video. I'll first make the connections to these uh, four devices and for this I'll be using four LED bulbs uh, red, green, blue and yellow. So these are rated uh, 0.5 watts and they work on the 230 volts AC power. I have connected uh, two wires to these uh, bulb holders and I've kept them open for now. I have also cut few more shorter wires and uh, I'll use this to make the connections. The connections needs to be made as shown on the Sonoff official web page. In order to make the connections, I have to remove this outer casing. So let me go ahead and do this. The AC power from the mains or the wall outlet will need to be connected to this input terminal. I have a mains cable here and I have connected a plug to one end of the wire and the other end will go into this input terminal. Here. The pink colored wire here is the live wire and the blue color is the neutral wire. And I have also marked the same on the other end of the plug. So the neutral wire will go into this terminal on the left and the live wire will go to the right side. And this is also indicated on this uh, casing here. The left one is a neutral and the live is the right side. So connecting the wire is pretty simple. We just need to push this button on the top of the terminal, insert the wire and release the button. And similarly, we have to do it for the other one. And next we need to connect the live wire to the middle terminal of all the switches. So this is called the COM and you can see that here, the middle one. So I will take a wire from this uh, terminal here, which is the input. And this is from the live wire. So I'll insert a wire here. I'll take another shorter wire and connect it to the next terminal. And I'll do this for the next one. And the last one. I will now connect one wire from each of the bulb to the first terminal of every switch here. So I'll take the pink color wire and connect it to the first terminal on the first switch. And this terminal is named as NO on the outer cover. And I'll take the second bulb and connect it to the first terminal of the second switch. The third one now and the last one. So you can see that one wire of all the bulbs is connected to one of the terminal of the individual switches. The other end of each and every bulb will need to be connected to the neutral wire of the input terminal. And for this, I'll take one longer wire here and make a connection from the neutral, which is right here. I will connect all these wires together and then connect this uh, neutral wire to this joint. As you can see, I've made this uh, connection and for safety reasons and to avoid any kind of shock, I will put an insulation tape to this exposed wire. As you can see from the schematic diagram here on the case, the middle terminal which is called the COM on each and every switch, this is by default internally connected to the last terminal which is called the NC. So the first terminal here which is called the NO is always open. When we give the command to turn on the switch, then the middle terminal that carries the live current, this gets disconnected from the last terminal and then gets connected to the first terminal and completes the circuit. So any device that needs to be turned off by default, this needs to be connected to the first terminal here. And any device that needs to be turned on by default when the device is switched on, this needs to be connected to the third terminal of the relay switch. Okay guys, I have reviewed all the connections and everything seems to be fine. And for safety reasons again, I'll just close this uh, casing on the top of this uh, PCB. So now let me go ahead and power on this uh, device. I'll be using this spike buster and the live current 
is uh, present on the right side of this uh, socket here and uh, this is the plug and I mark the live wire here so let me go ahead and insert this plug here so the device is now powered on and uh, you can see that the Wi-Fi LED indicator is uh, blinking so currently this is in the self-locking mode and uh, we can control the connected device individually using the buttons on the device so the first one is the red the below one is the green then the third one and the fourth one so now let's go ahead and configure the wi-fi app so i have downloaded the ev link app from the play store so let me go ahead and open it so you can see that currently there are no devices added to my account so first we need to put the smart switch in its uh, pairing mode so for this i'll press and hold the one of the four switches here for about seven seconds until the wi-fi led starts blinking three times and repeats So you can see that it's currently now blinking faster so now it's in the pairing mode so now i'll go ahead and click the add button here on the app and click the quick pairing button so now it's asking me to select the wi-fi network and the password so i'll just go ahead and enter the password so i have entered the password and click the next button So it's saying that it has found a second generation device. So guys, the device has been detected and it's uh, now added to my account. It's now asking for a name for this device. So I'll just give four channel and click on the complete button. So it's now says added successfully. So now we can see four switches here. And uh, let me go ahead and switch on each of the bulbs here. So you can see that uh, they can be controlled individually using these uh, buttons. And we also find some more options when I click on the big button there to actually get a different view of these uh, switches. So all have been turned off. There are a lot of other options available on this app. So you can see that here I can uh, use the schedule option uh, with which I can schedule a timer to switch on or switch off these uh, lights on any day, any time and this can be repeated daily, weekly or even on any specific day of the week. There is also a countdown timer here with which we can change the state of these bulbs after a specific interval of time. So if we go to the settings here on the top. Uh, we have the options to uh, configure the power on state switch here. So when the Sono switch is powered on from the mains, the individual switches can be set uh, to remember that uh, status. There is also an option here which is called disable indicator. And when I switch on this option, you can see that the Wi-Fi LED light here, this will turn off. So this is good in case if you want to switch off this LED during night. So now let's take a look at the different modes of operation of this uh, switch. I had mentioned about uh, three modes earlier in this uh, video. So the current mode that we saw is the self-locking mode wherein one or more of the connected device will remain in the on state until it is switched off individually. So now let's change this mode to the inching mode. So let me go ahead and power off this uh, device and I've just removed this plug also for safety reasons. I'll remove the casing. There is a dip switch here and this is called the K5 work mode switch. We need to change the position of all these uh, four switches to zeroth position to enable all the switches in the inching mode. For now, I'll uh, do it for the first three switches and I'll leave the last one in the self-locking mode. I will also change the delay time to turn off the switch after four seconds. By default, it is 16 seconds, which is the highest. And this can be changed by looking to the true value table in the user manual. For four seconds, the combination is 1100. 0, 0. 
So this delay is applied to all the switches that are in the inching mode. So I have changed the modes on the switch and I'll now put back the cover on the device. So let me go ahead and power on this uh, device. I'll now go ahead and switch on all the bulbs one by one. And you should see these first three bulbs uh, going off after four seconds. You can see that these three turned off uh, after four seconds one by one and the last one remained on because this is in the self-locking mode. Now let's take a look at the interlocking mode. So again I'll have to switch off this uh, device in order to change the mode on the PCB. So I've just taken out the plug once again and remove the cover. There is a switch called S6 and this is called the work mode switch which is located here. So I'll just slide the switch to the interlocking mode. Let me go ahead and put this cover on the device and I'll just uh, power on the device once again. So the device is again online and um, I'll just go ahead and uh, press these buttons one by one and you should see a change in the operation. So you can see that only one device can turn on at any given point of uh, time and the other switches will remain turned off. I also have this RF remote that works on the 433 MHz frequency band and uh, this can also be used to control these uh, switches and uh, this can operate based on the mode that is configured on this Sonoff device. So we have these four buttons A, B, C and D. Uh, for the individual switches on the Sonoff uh, switch. We need to train these buttons before we can use them. For this we need to press twice on one of the buttons of the Sonoff uh, switch and then press a button on the remote. So let me go ahead and do this. If it learned successfully then uh, this green LED for the corresponding switch will blink three times indicating that it has been configured. So let me go ahead and do for the second button here. For the third one. So it has successfully learned all these four uh, buttons. So let me press this one by one. It needs to be kept pressed for at least 1 to 2 seconds in order to trigger this switch. Pressing the button once will turn on and pressing it again will turn off the switch. The range of this remote is quite good and I have tested it from 30 feet away from another room with lot of brick walls in between and I was able to control these without any issues. To erase the learning of these buttons. We can press and hold the reset button on the top of the uh, PCB until the LED lights turn green and then turn off. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and it was useful to you. Please hit that like button if it helped and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.